Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about my development. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, as a software engineer with a few years of experience, what would you say that has contributed the most to your personal development? What helped you the most to land a good job, top coding skills, uh, systems design or leadership skills? and or leadership skills? Well, there could probably be a two, three, three questions in here, but let's just, uh, let, let's break it down. Let's break it down. So the thing that helped me the most when it came to landing a good job, I would say, was passion. Pure, unrestricted, almost a little bit crazy passion that helped me a lot I mean social skills do of course factor in like I mean even though I'm very enthusiastic about the thing the things that I do and I spend almost all my time learning about I mean even many uh, several years later I'm still doing it like I, I've never stopped when I was in uh, when I was in the university learning coding none of my like I, I don't think I actually saw any of my friends for years I was it was complete radio silence for many many years until I was done, because that's how I can, and it's not because I didn't I mean the time just flew by, it was like I don't even remember like I remember a lot of anxieties of course and fighting with understanding things and so forth, but I never had a moment over to do anything else because I loved it I loved all of it all 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 of it it was the best thing ever and i still feel that way i love it too it's the i love this uh, like i love programming i love everything about it there's nothing that i am happy every single morning i wake up and i get to do this i can i i, I the only thing that i truly uh, wish that i had was to have even more time to learn other things like there are so many like I have to focus on certain things because I I can't do all of them at the same time but I'm gonna try when I get to a mastery level and one thing I move over to the next thing and I learn that thing uh, and that ha that helped me in the early days a lot it still helps me today because the the f one thing that I can tell you is that regardless of what skill level you are as a software developer uh, the companies re like, if, if people who are hiring people they really want to get people who are enthusiastic about this thing that they, they want to see your fire they want to see that you care and uh, even it, it doesn't matter if you're a senior level developer or if you're a junior level developer that passion is a it's infectious if you can cl if you get good at communicating how much you care people will notice and it, they will be drawn in they will, uh, you need of course to have the skills for the role I mean just because you're a really passionate junior that doesn't mean that you're gonna get like a mid-level or a senior level job but it will definitely help you in getting a junior level position more so than a lot of other things in many cases and the same thing goes for like I had a lot I have had a lot of these questions from people who are getting a little bit older and in, in their and they are senior and they're worried that they will lose their market value and sure you might lose a bit of your market value when you get to a point where people are more reluctant to hire you but if you can prove that you have the energy and the fire and you're still hungry you will mitigate a lot of that because a lot of what uh, what hiring somebody is about is one part knowing that they the feeling that they know how to do the job and the other part is to feel as if they will have a very positive impact on the work environment and a person that is very passionate but still at the same time very humble and not you know not too opinionated at the very least is a person that will bring a breathe energy into a workplace and that's something you really want as a develop uh, as a company so in terms of what helped me get the top coding skills, uh, I would say that's a two-parter. One part of, well, if we can call my coding skills top, I don't know that. You ha will have to decide that for me. Uh, but the skills that I have gotten, I got them from working in, one part is the passion, of course, like really, really wanting to learn as much as possible. And the other part is to work in an environment where you have access 
to experienced co-workers who can teach you the ropes because in a, when you I mean even today I still have the same principle I will I still I will die and we will put these things on in something like this in in the outline of my gravestone I argue that the biggest gift you can give your career is an a senior exper a senior co-worker when you're working as a software developer nothing will have a bigger impact on your personal development than access to an individual who has done the thing that you want to learn how to do for longer than you because when you are inexperienced it's really hard to figure out what you don't know what is a good idea what is a bad idea you just have all of these things that you kind of want to try out and having a guide or someone who kind of can show you the rope or you should go that way or that way the, it is invaluable and I mean even today I do that my next position that I'm looking for or the, the next thing that I'm doing uh, is going to most likely involve more operations related work and although I have a fairly good understanding of all the tools and I understand how to work with uh, all the uh, cloud most of the at the very least cloud solutions out there I'm still gonna look for that I'm still gonna be very transparent and tell my boss to say that if you're looking for somebody who's been doing this for years and years and years well then for this role I'm not right if there's another like, I mean there are other roles like application development and full stack work or front-end or back-end whatever you might want to look for or like in team management I can definitely do all of that I've been doing that for for quite some time now but I haven't done exactly this thing so it's really important to me that you give me someone who is who has been doing this thing for years and years and years i don't care if it's a junior level developer i mean i one if if i stay at the company that i'm working at right now it's very likely that my experienced senior co-worker is going to be my junior a, a guy who i used to train when he first started out it's just that i've been working in one space and he's been working in another space and that doesn't matter to me because he knows more than I do there's something to learn there and that is definitely the thing that made the biggest difference for me because I've had I've been very fortunate of you know, when it comes to finding co-workers or finding places of work where I've been able to shadow a more experienced developer regardless of what it was I was doing and then lastly uh, the question about uh, systems design or leadership skills and things like that um, I'm gonna credit that to well, leadership skills and so forth is one part uh, for me. It's most inherent. Like I, I have been doing this since I was a youngster. Like I, uh, I, uh, well, I used to teach martial arts and things like that. So that the leadership things, it's it's not that different from being a teacher, and that's something that uh, I've been I, I have done at an amateur level for quite some time, uh, and so. I can't really say what's uh, what I would contribute the most to that. I think that the best, the best uh, thing to say here is to say that my leadership skills and my ability to work with people and so forth within the software space has come from being in the environment, like being a people person, really listening to people, try, like, uh, developing my EQ or my emotional intelligence to a level where I really like I really care about people and I care about results and I care about why people work the way they do and when you're in a group the re getting to know people and having these small conversations and trying to understand their thought process trying to understand what makes them tick, tick makes a very big difference because when you can tie together the interests and the thoughts and the worries and so forth of all these different people that is in this environment that you're working in into all right this is the tr this is the bigger truth of this place of work or this is the thing that we value this is what that person values and that person has that role so in other words if i have all these people who fill different roles and they have these different values how can i make them all see the same sort of thing being a little bit of a diplomat that comes very naturally when you take an interest in making something, uh, making a, a lot of different people your priority to understand how they all think and to understand 
uh, to, to get to know them at a bit of a personal level. That's the only thing I always prioritize whenever I go into a new team or I work with anybody. My first priority is to build an environment between myself and the other people in that group. Very similar to that of a small military unit or something like that. We don't have to all be the same person. We just have to trust each, each other and care about each other enough that we can feel free to speak to each other without fear of being judged or anything like that. It has to be a safe environment. So what I want you to take away from this is that the things that I contribute, that I credit, at, at least from my own personal development, mostly when it comes to progressing in getting a good job or like the thing that made the most the biggest difference is passion. Passion helps a lot when you're going to get a good job regardless of what skill level you are. Skills always factor in, of course they do, but I can promise you, even if you're the best coder ever, being passionate will actually make it even easier for you to get those really high stakes products that you're looking for. And if you're a junior, passion and showing and real interest in what you're doing is going to make the difference every single day of the week. Top coding skills are improving my coding skills. Uh, I credit um, having an experienced developer show me the ropes and shadowing somebody who's even better than me that has helped enormously and it, in terms of learning how to do uh, le leadership skills and so forth um, I will say that having uh, being around people like and really focusing on getting to know people and trying to create a good uh, environment where people feel like we're friend friend like or buddy buddies where we can just trust each other and kind of talk without being f afraid of saying the wrong thing and so forth where it's a very relaxed environment trying to build that environment has helped me more in uh, than anything else because once you understand that and you understand how to write make good technical solutions then that's like a match made in heaven that's when you really get to see those really nice results with when it comes to architecture and stuff of that nature have a great day